Breaking news this morning everyone, Panasonic this morning just hours ago showed off for the first time its 4680 cylindrical battery cells for Tesla vehicles which gets its name from being 46 millimeters in diameter and 80 millimeters high. It is larger than previous battery cells Panasonic has supplied to Tesla. Basically Panasonic said it has mostly solved the technology challenges with a larger lithium iron battery that Elon Musk has called the lowest cost way to power an electric vehicle. Welcome back dear friends, this is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Maria Merano has more details in Tesla Radi saying the battery supplier Panasonic showed off some 4680 lithium ion cells and shared a few details about its production. Panasonic recently this morning revealed 4680 cylindrical battery to the Wall Street Journal a little over a year after Tesla unveiled the new cell design during battery day. According to the head of Panasonic's battery unit Kazuo Tanobu, the larger cell design yields five times the capacity of smaller models. Also, Holmar's catalog on Twitter shared the images that you're seeing on your screen is 4680 cells by Panasonic coming to a Tesla, Tesla near you. Murano says the Japanese battery maker plans to start 4680 battery test production by March 2022 in Japan. Last month, Panasonic announced it would be creating a new energy business named Panasonic Energy Corporation by April 2022. Panasonic's brief update about the 4680 battery cell underlines that Tesla plans to work with its current battery suppliers to increase its cell production capacity. During the last earnings call, Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering Lars Moraway noted that Tesla is in a generally cell-contained world. Here's a quote. We are working on a strate strategy to increase our production rates as quickly as possible. I think Zach spoke that to that well, and we're doing this while trying to add the least amount of incremental complexity to the business. We don't want to add any new vehicles to our lineup when we're generally in a cell-constrained world, Moravi said, replying to an investor question about the production of Tesla's $25,000 car. Even with the challenges it faces, Tesla seems determined to push through and start production on some exciting vehicles, specifically Elon Musk's Cybertruck at the quarter 3 2021 earnings call. Tesla announced that its next product launch would be the Cybertruck. However, Moravi tempted expectations for Cybertruck production. Actually, he tempered expectations for Cybertruck production. He mentioned many supply chain headwinds that Tesla has faced and continues to face as the, as, uh, the effects of the, uh, this virus roll on into 2022. As we have mentioned before, after Model Y in Austin, our next product launch will be Cybertruck. And that timing, of course, depends on increasing cell capacity, both from our suppliers and through our in-house cell, as well as many other headwinds we face in the supply chain and completing our currently full plate of products on the table, he said. Even with the challenges, Tesla predicts it will continue to face the company seemed confident that a few vehicles with 4680 battery cells would begin testing next year. Panasonic's March 2022 test production for the 4680 cells appears to align with Tesla timetable. Well, I think this is very exciting, friends. Looking forward to it. This looks like a nice battery, bigger battery. So get ready for your... Uh, uh, for year-long wait for Tesla, I guess also, but Tesla battery supplier Panasonic now shows off the 4680 batteries, which looks bigger and looks very nice. What do you think about this, friends? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section Tesla below. Tesla increased production of 4680 battery cells for testing 
a start of mass productions of these batteries are likely in the first half of 2022. Welcome back again. This is Armin Hari. I'm from talknews.com. Please give us thumbs up and comment under our stories. Eva Fox is reporting that Tesla is ramping up of the production of 4680 batteries for the testing purpose in the Tesmania. The front and rear body castings required to form the structural battery pack are manufactured at Giga Texas. The first production vehicles with a new architecture using 4680 battery cells will debut in 2022. In its quarter three 2021 financial report, Tesla released an update on the progress in developing its 4680 batteries. The manufacturer said its project to build its own battery cells at Cato Road, Fremont, California, continues to grow that means things are progressing and advancing this is good news tesla confirmed that an increasing number of battery cells are being produced there for testing purposes this is an important step before bringing the new cells to market in addition the manufacturer said that it was pleased with the testing results as they meet its expectation here's what tesla said the 4680 in-house cell project continues to progress we are producing an increasing number of battery packs for testing purposes and so far the test results meet our current expectations end of the quote tesla stated that front and rear body castings which are needed to form the structural battery pack are already being produced at giga texas we have previously seen several flyovers of the Texas factor, um, uh, Texas uh, factors showing some front castings, and now the company has actually confirmed for the first time that it is producing them there at Giga Texas. Here's a quote: Front and rear body castings, both needed for our structural battery pack architecture, are being produced at Giga Factory Texas. End of the quote. During the quarter three earnings call, the company announced that 4680 battery cells and the structural pack will debut in production vehicles in 2022. Drew Baglinu, SVP of Tesla Powertrain and Energy Engineering, said both of these new technologies should be launched sometimes in the first half of next year. What do you think, friends? Do you think some people now knowing this information will hold on to their Teslas, will hold their purchase and wait until the first half of the next year because the idea that 4680 batteries are going to be better batteries than the current batteries used with more density and therefore more power and therefore more range i don't know but you know um, i hear some people will do that and also considering that last night tesla increased the price of its vehicles let me know your thoughts friends let me know we'll look forward to your comments god bless you everyone